So first, uh, welcome to Toronto. How yeah, does it feel? I'm, to, I'm from Toronto. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. How does it feel to be back home? Um, it feels like I'm back home and exactly where I want to be. I'm proudly a Canadian and I love this country and I love being near my family. And congratulations on being recognized here today as well. I can't believe it. I really, it's pretty incredible to feel part of a community in Canada and with such an important organization. Uh, I am uh, pretty astounded. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm pretty shocked. So comparing, uh, you've been taking a lot of more Canadian roles lately. I just, I'm just curious, how does that compare to taking the roles in the United States? Would you prefer to work more in Canada if you could? I, I, I love working in Canada because it's my home and I feel like Canada has such a, a wealth of talent that there is something wonderful about working in your country that I realize the value of more and more the older I get. Um, but... Uh, it's just sort of the way it's happened. If you, it was up to you, would you do more roles in Canada? Absolutely, would, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I love being here. So I came, being back here was a very, a definite choice. So wanting to work here is my goal. A lot of the roles you choose are um, fall into the LGBT community. Do you actively seek out these roles or does it just kind no, of No, I don't. No, I don't. But I'm very proud that I've been able to play some, I guess, sometimes polarizing roles um, that have definitely elicited a response from people, but just very proud to be able to say something and be part of a community that, you know, unfortunately still doesn't have, many people don't have justice on their side. Speaking of which, uh, one of your most famous roles is uh, Jenny from The L Word. Yes. Uh, so how is that? I mean, I'm sure a lot of people still recognize you from that. Very now, much correct? so, yeah. yeah. Um, I think while I was doing it, I think I felt apologetic um, because I felt, I felt the need because people thought I was Jenny. And, you know, I, I would constantly be explaining to people that there's such a huge... There, it's, I, you know, I remember one day at this bar, one woman came up to me, at me and said, I wish you would die. And I was like, you know what? I am not Jenny. Do you have a job? And she said, yeah. And I, she, and I said, this is my job, and I need my job because I love my job, and I also pay bills with my job, so please don't say those unkind things. And now I realize that actually I shouldn't have taken it personally. I should be proud that a character polarized people and elicited a response like that. And um, most importantly, when I look at the show as a whole now, I think it's pretty wonderful that the show helped some people feel less alone. I didn't realize you were getting such a big response from people. Uh, she, I understand she's, she wasn't a very balanced person and she made people uncomfortable. Mm. I, she made me uncomfortable. <sighs> Um, so when it comes to your roles again, you seem to uh, hop from like going to very largely produced projects to very smaller uh, indie projects as well. What draws you to both ends of the spectrum? I think it's where roles are interesting and what is challenging and, you know, I think it's pretty simple. You know, I think sometimes with smaller films you have more creative freedom, which is a wonderful thing to have. Now, do you, when you have a role, do you prefer, do you bring something from yourself into that character? Do you always, like, try and stick to what it is, or? I think, I mean, I, I, I can't, I can't imagine that bits and bobs of me aren't in the characters, but I, I hope that I'm creating something original and unique, but I'm sure, especially on a series, uh, and I'm not like Jenny, but I'm sure some things would, like, I'm sure Jenny would have worn a bow, but... <laughs> Uh, there's some things of me and the character that will bleed together. Uh, what are you working on right now? What's next for you? I'm writing. I've started to write, actually. I've, I really feel like after all this time of being in series and learning from so many people, I've always loved writing, and actually I've always felt that it's something I'm actually, I have, I'm, I have maybe more skill at than acting. Really? And I think it's time, I've all, I love doing series, and I, it's t so I'm writing my own show. Oh, can you give us a little yeah. hint of what it's about? It's sort of um, 
It's set in Canada and sort of along the line of The Constant Gardener, but it's a Canadian show oh. and an ensemble, so very excited. Any idea when we could see this come to life? I hope uh, in the next year and a half. That's my goal, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mia.